Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we have some quick party tips all created by Nicole, but I'm going to be doing the video, so it's a little bit of a collaboration here. And you can see all of these fun, cute ideas for creating an awesome barbecue party. So we're going to be using some cardstock, some dyes, some twine, and having a lot of fun today. First up, we're going to be creating some drink tags. So I'm using the tiny tags dies with some cilantro cardstock. I am going to run these dies through my die cut machine and have all of these cute little shapes that are going to be ready to put on some mason jars for labeling people's drinking glasses at your party. So you can see how adorable those are and I love that stitching that it adds. It really adds a nice, beautiful detail. So I'm going to write the names of some people that are going to be attending my party onto these tags. Then I'm going to take some lawn trimmings twine. I'm going to take a nice long piece and I'm going to wrap that around this cute mason jar style mug. So I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times just so that you get a nice color there of all of that twine all the way around. I'll trim off my piece once I've got the right length there and then I'm going to tie a double knot. After I have that double knot tied I can go ahead and string on my little tag and then tie a bow onto that. And this is such a cute way to add something with it's really easy to do to your party, but really kind of makes it super cute and personalized for your guests. Now here I wanted to show you how you can change up the color and the style of tag and the style of your jar to create a completely different look. So we're doing the same exact idea, but this one instead of for a barbecue would be perfect for a little girl's birthday party. So I love that you can kind of change up the colors with the same idea and get two completely different looks. And then here is a look at Nicole's cute party and I love how the yellow and green really go along with her barbecue theme. So next we're going to be creating some food tags. And so I'm going to take some pattern paper here and you could use any color or style that would go along with your party scheme. And I'm going to trim that pattern paper to three quarters of an inch and then by five and a half inches. Then I'm going to take my alphabet stamps, these are called Claire's ABCs, and I'm going to line them up on the block. And these stamps are awesome because all of those letters have the same size rectangular base. So all you need to do is just butt them up against each other on your block and you can spell out anything and it goes by really quick too. Now it's time to stamp this out. So I've got my black licorice ink here and I'm going to ink up my cute little gluten free saying here and stamp that to the right of this long strip of paper. Once that's stamped out, I'm going to go ahead and fold my paper in half, leaving just a little bit of space to the left of that G. So you'll see I'm just going to kind of fold it and line it up. And then once it's folded in half, I can go ahead and trim off any excess that might be at the end. Depending on how long your phrase is, you may or may not have any excess at the end. So I'll just trim that right off. And then to make it a little more detailed, we're going to add a little flagged end. So we're going to cut a notch in the middle. And then from one end of the paper, we're going to line up our scissors to the top of that notch and cut and then repeat on the other side. So we're going to take right at the edge of that paper, the corner, line up our scissors to the top of that notch in the middle, cut, and we'll have a cute little flagged end. Next, I'm going to add some glue to the inside of this tag and then take a little toothpick and put that right there in that center fold line and fold my whole thing over and then let it dry. And you can see how cute this little tag is. It's absolutely adorable and perfect for labeling food at your party so that people with dietary restriction kind of know what's going on with the food and they're actually really adorable too. You can also make a ton of them ahead of time for any parties in the future. So I like cutting them out of lots of different colors of cardstock and having them ready to go so that I can label my food. So you can see how it just adds this extra level of cuteness to the dishes there. And I love how we've labeled them spicy and the yum is really, really cute too. So you don't even just have to do dietary restrictions. You can just have a lot of fun with it. Another really cute idea is to add the little stamp that says from the kitchen of to all of your food labels so that people can sign when you have a potluck and you know who made what dish, which I think is really fun and adds a personal touch to parties. I hope you guys enjoyed these quick and easy party ideas in collaboration with our friends at Shipped. And if you guys use any of them in your barbecue parties this summer, make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.